Well, hello, everybody out there in entrepreneurship land. This is Radio Entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis, and we constantly are streaming stories of entrepreneurship and how leaders are dealing with this economy. Every week, we like to check in and have our special Mark Z moment. That's Mark Zwetschgenbaum, president of Mark Z Legal Staffing. Welcome back, Mark. Thanks, Jeff. Great to be here and great to uh, talk about relevant subjects for our listeners. Okay, so what's up this week, Mark? Well, I thought I'd talk to you. Um, to you and our audience about um, employer-employee collaboration as um, we finish or continue to navigate one stage into the next stage uh, due to um, COVID protocols and workplace management of employees. And um, what I wanted to say is, which I think is, a, is on one hand, I will take it as a positive thing that um, employees and employers have the most trusting relationship it was shown through polling recently versus what the government says, what the CDC says, what health organizations say. So on one hand, it's a positive because our economy is so crucial for that relationship. On the other hand, it's sad that people are not, gonna, are not listening to what our politicians and our, what our healthcare professionals are saying. So I, I, as you know, a glass half full person. And so what I'm saying is, and what's trending is seize that positive synergy for an employer-employee collaboration to work together to make, not push in terms of one direction or another, but come to solutions that work for the employee and the employer to move forward. So, for example, we had um, in our you know uh, we always use it as a lab for our our group. We had um, a situ few situations where people were supposed to um, start positions and um, with employers that have uh, either a full in-office in uh, protocol or hybrid, and they got COVID just before they tested or they tested for COVID and were found positive just before they were supposed to start. And previously, it was a really difficult situation because of the concerns with the health with the information, but in these cases, the employer calmly said, look, here are our protocols. Why don't you, if you really wanna start this week, we could start you remotely. We'll get you that access so you can start something. Or, you know what, let's start a week later. No big deal. Um, if it does affect your healthcare insurance, um, health insurance, we'll work that out too. On the other hand, we've had candidates that have um, interviewed with positions. And as employers are looking at candidates, um, some candidates still aren't vaccinated and employers have that full vaccination rule. And so, um, and even if somebody is gonna work fully remotely because it's the idea at some point, they could be called in to the site. So the employee um, said, look, I have no problem being vaccinated. I just have not been vaccinated right now because my children aren't vaccinated, we've stayed isolated. And how about this? I will start the process and, um, and it's a fully remote position anyway right now and I'll keep you posted. I'll get my first um, vaccine at X date and I'll start the process and I will keep you posted. So, and the employer was collaborative and said, absolutely, as long as we can show everybody in the firm that that's where you wanna be, that you can give documentation, we will work with you. And so I'm just putting it out there that on one hand, the employee has to understand that what employers are looking at are the long-term safety of all its employees. On the other hand, that employer wants to be respectful to that employee because they're looking at long-term and coming up with a collaboration and compromises that can work and not be um, bumping heads. Well, I think what you're saying is that there's a, you know, due to COVID and the economy and, you know, shortages uh, and employment and, and labor shortages that when an employee has a good employer, they know it. And when an employer has a good employee, they know it. And so they have learned to appreciate each other better and work better together as a result of that. And I think that that's really has been a trend that, uh, and I know it's stuff that I emphasize with people when they're in organizations, when they have it good, you know, don't, don't just be looking at money, look at the whole package of what this organization brings to you 
as an environment. And I think that's what you're saying, that this economy has created a sense of bonding and loyalty and flexibility between these two parties. Right. And, and a lot of employers are now looking out of state for talent and saying, we will um, have remote employees with the idea is, is once a month, once every two months, um, maybe even once a week, depending on location, you join it. So that helps their talent pool. And at the same time, the employees have to be open to saying, okay, I will follow protocol as long as you work with me. So um, it's just more compromise. And it's on one hand, you do have to have a hard, fast policy because that's what employers employees are looking for employers to give them. So they'll know that. Now, everything keeps shifting because of the variance and start dates, delaying time in the, in the office for employers that have been remote that want their employees back. But a lot of the employers are now saying, look, we're going to go, um, we're not going to give you a hard date, but we will give you a month's notice before we, um, before, before we bring everybody back so everybody can plan. Well, and I think that's an important message, Mark. And remember, we're talking to the fabulous Mark Z, Mark Zwetschkenbaum, president of Mark Z Legal Staffing. Mark, if someone's looking for you, how do they find you? Well, first of all, Jeff, Google Mark Z, M-A-R-C-Z, M-A-R-C, and then the letter Z, and we'll come right up, or markzlegal.com, M-A-R-C-Z-legal.com, or 617-338-1300. Well, thank you very much, Mark. We appreciate these updates every week. We know we're going to see you again next week on Radio Entrepreneurs.